can you hear that fly? Where are you? Can't fly. Where's he gone? The fly just went into the door. Hang on, I think he's gonna go out. Right, let's get started, shall we? Hello, and welcome to our latest vloggy vlog. Now that means it's just me talking to you at home one-to-one. -one. Usually it's actually the whole family doing a city guide thing, but if you check the thumbnail, and if it's just me or just one of the kids or Ali, then it means that it's that person talking normally. That's just a little hint. If you want to avoid these ones, just look for the ones with the family in it. If you want to watch some of these tip ones, it's just me, sorry. You know, we're always trying to find the answers to your questions. So quite often I spend my days, my evenings, my weekends, my time off, looking through TripAdvisor and looking for what questions you have. Now, the number one question is, what can we do in a certain city or how do we do a certain road trip? Well, we've been doing those for a while, haven't we? You haven't freeze-framed it, have you? You're just joking with me now. I'm not gonna fall for that again. I edit the videos, I know what I'm going to do. Anyway, the second most asked question is, how do you get around that city? Well, as some of you may have seen, we started doing this video for San Francisco and today we're going to do one of my favourite cities in the world, San Diego. Our San Diego city guide is still doing well and it has loads of ideas for anyone's first trip to the very south of Southern California. Even though it's a few years old, it still holds up, so make sure you check it out on the end screen. I'm tempted to make a new video of it, but as there's not much I change, I'd rather be making new content for you all. We did do a where to eat video, so check that out if you want to see us back in America's finest city more recently. Now if you've seen our About Us video, you'll know that San Diego is close to our hearts, and where I've been traveling since 2004 to try and put a ring on it with Ali. Do you know what? I think I probably know San Diego now better than London. Actually, do I know London better? Do you know what? I think I know San Diego better. I know all the different roads, where all the regions are, whereas London, I just know where to go around on the tube, whereas I can drive anywhere in San Diego. So I'm going for San Diego. I know that better. Anyway, what I was trying to say is that I know it really well. It has great international links. You can fly directly from London to San Diego, and you can fly from pretty much anywhere in the US. It is the eighth largest city in the States, after all. My top way to get around the city is, and I hate to say it, the car. If you've seen our San Francisco version of this, I say don't even rent a car, and I'd say the same for New York and London. I would much prefer to tell you to use public transport, but right now, except in certain circumstances, the car is still king. You see, San Diego is made up of loads of super cool neighborhoods which have their own character. Some of them are next to each other and walkable, but others are 40 minutes apart. Public transport in the city is okay at best, and I'd probably say poor if you're trying to get to some locations. With a car, you can go anywhere at any time. Even with today's fuel prices, if you've got a family of five, it's still very economical. It means you can go to any attraction in the city and in LA, and you can get onto planning the fun stuff straight away. So, when don't you need a car? That is a great question, and I'm glad I asked it. Well, if you're here for a conference and you're staying for like two days and you only really want to go around downtown and maybe go to a beach or maybe go to Old Town, then you don't really need a car. You can get a trolley or get Ubers for the, those couple of days. It won't be too much and you can have a pretty good time doing that. Also, if you're doing it for a conference, it's probably on expenses and who's picking up the tab? That'll probably be good enough if you were just staying for a few days and not for a conference as well. So you could just do the Ubering and getting around when you need to. If you're looking to do a full-on vacation though, you'll want to go to Coronado one day, have a day at Mission Beach, watch the sunset with the seals in La Jolla, try some restaurants in Little Italy, have a day at SeaWorld, hit up Balboa Park, and that's not even included in the San Diego Zoo or Safari Park. You're also only an hour and a half from Disneyland and two hours from LA. Without a car, those Ubers are gonna start to add up, aren't they? You could, I suppose, stay at Mission Beach or Pacific Beach and have the whole week there, but you're not really seeing the whole of the city. It's got so much to offer. And what about those different places you wanna try out and different foods you wanna try out in the different neighborhoods? So I would still recommend trying to get a car if you are doing it for that amount of time. 
So let's find out what other transport can get you where. First up, the trolley. The tram system here started in 1981. It's a prepaid system, so you'll book your tickets at the station or on the app. The line stretches from La Jolla in the north to San Isidro, which is literally the Mexican border in the south. Check out our Mexican adventure here, by the way. And then it goes from Seaport Village to Santee. Now, this all sounds great, but to even get on the trolley from the airport, you need to do a 12 minute walk and then get a bus before you get on the trolley. Now, how are you meant to do that with a family of five and suitcases? Also, the stops aren't really that close to where they should be. If you want to go to La Jolla to see the cove, that's great, but you'll need to get on the trolley and then a 12 minute walk once you're off the tram too. It doesn't even serve the beach towns, SeaWorld, San Diego Zoo or Balboa Park. So you can't ride it like the Tube in London or the New York subway. But it could work for you if you're based in downtown and you want to eat in Old Town or do some shopping in Fashion Valley or just see that one of the places you want to go is actually on the map. San Diego's transport system has an app called Pronto. Download the app and see where you might be able to go with your routes. Tickets are $2.50 and it's half that for kids and seniors. And you can actually ride for two hours if you're actually going through the app. Kids five and under are always free. On to the next way to get around, the buses. Now, these actually get everywhere in the city and there are loads of them, so that's good. I'd be happy to use one during the day, but in the evening, I wouldn't love to use them if I'm being really honest. The other bad thing about the buses is that it can take ages to get anywhere. Downtown to Ocean Beach takes an hour and six minutes to travel seven miles. Now this would only be a 12 minute journey in the car. You can use the Pronto app to plan your journeys on the buses too and pay for them, so see if the routes will work for you in what you want to do. Another public transport option which might work for you is actually the train. There's a very cool coaster railway which links many of the coastal towns on the San Diego stretch of the Pacific Coast Highway. Now this includes Solana Beach, Encinitas, Carlsbad and Oceanside. The great thing is that the railroad was built before cars, so you'll actually be close to the beach when you get off, rather than having to get another bus or walk for 15 minutes. The train takes an hour to get from San Diego to Oceanside, which isn't too far off what it would be if you were driving there, but don't expect any fast direct trains, you have to go through all those stops each time. If you like the idea of using the train, you can stretch your legs even further on the railway and get right up into Big Sur territory by using the Pacific Surfliner, which runs from San Diego through Orange County, stopping at Anaheim for Disneyland, Los Angeles, through to Santa Barbara, and ending at San Luis Obispo, which is really getting into Big Sur territory. Again, you're not getting anywhere fast on the train. Anaheim is two hours 20. Hollywood is 3 hours 40, while getting the train all the way to San Luis Obispo is 8 hours and 45 minutes. If you were doing that in a car, it would take about 6 hours. Going on a train for nearly 9 hours isn't going to be for everyone, but for some of you it might be an option. You might not go all the way to San Luis Obispo, but you might go to Anaheim or Los Angeles or Santa Barbara or something like that. And going on the train across all of that landscape might actually be a really cool experience too. If you're taking the train to Disneyland, show your tickets for a free shuttle to the parks. It's a 20 minute ride, but you do get dropped off right at the security gates. And we all know it can take that long to get there from the car park if you drove there. Or if you don't want to wait for the shuttle, you could get an Uber, which could be faster, but you have to pay for that, of course. On to my next way to get around, and this is quite a unique option for most cities, go by boat. We got taken around the bay by one of Ali's dad's fishing buddies for this bit here. There are loads of tours which you can book officially, but they don't get you anywhere if you know what I mean. A great little trip that does get you somewhere though is the Coronado Ferry. Now this gives you brilliant views of downtown and you'll get to spend time in Coronado, which is always a good idea. You can sail from Broadway Pier or the convention centre in the city. And there's a free commuter service for those who live on Coronado Island. But if you live there, I'm sure you already know this. 
bottom of my list is walking, and I'm really sorry to say this, but San Diego really isn't made for people walking around. The transport infrastructure just isn't there to walk from some places. Even though it says it's two miles from Old Town to Point Loma, there are no walkways at points, so it's just not doable. You can walk around the beaches, most of those are connected, and you can get from downtown to some places, but you're gonna really struggle to walk to many other areas. I remember when I first went out to San Diego and Ali was living in Pacific Beach, and I would take the mickey out of her for driving just two minutes to the supermarket or four minutes down to the beach. And I was thinking, why on earth do you not just walk it? Well, one day I wanted to surprise her for breakfast and woke up early and walked to the shop. It seriously took me about an hour to get there and back and to get everything on top of it as well. I was gone for hours, she was worried about me. So even though you think it's not gonna be that much of a walk, the blocks are long, it's further than you think, it's hotter than you think. I suppose you can get around on a bike and on e-scooters, but you do have to plan the route even then, because sometimes you'll end up at a freeway out of nowhere, and you just need to plan ahead to make sure you can get places. But then you've got to rent the bike also at the same time, don't you? Maybe one day that'll change, but at the moment the car is still king in San Diego. Okay, we made it for another vloggy vlog, everyone. Well done, high fives all around. Here's a similar video for San Francisco. I was going to make one for our London video, but I put most of my tips inside that video already, so just check out that one. If you're planning a trip to California soon, check out our back catalogue as we have loads of hints and tips so we can all live the life of Riley together.